this is Trez singing Coming From Where I'm Coming From by Anthony Hamilton, up and coming artist. Started hustling and they couldn't tell me nothing. Running in the world trying to be somebody. My soul's on empty. I was searching for something. Tried to be good. Tried to keep from trouble. Living too fast. Trying to make good for the hustle. Sometimes you get enough. Sometimes it got hard. Sometimes you gotta walk to work, yeah. Sometimes you gotta do a little bit. Yeah, hey, hey. Wasn't really looking as I found it. Five foot three, like brown skin. Coming from the university. My style looking kind of lovely. Didn't know she had much game. Down the right out. Didn't take the track. Even took the two off game. Top notch for five chicken and soup. Say, try to be good. I try to treat you like a baby. Try to be a friend. Turns out that you push me Sometimes you get along. So things are what you see. to the sunset with the cowgirl shout out to queen sheba i'm looking so y'all all these people martell hang out with is melody ops for example look at peggy now i put peggy up there because peggy i was on martell live peggy was all on his live she stayed on his live she, Peggy, and also Peggy says so she buys all her clothes from Bed Bug. And then also, look at this, you guys. Martell with Bernard out of all people. Y'all know that. Y'all know how, what Bernard said about a uh, meal in that car. He threatened me with that chopper. And of course, you already know that uh, Wanda has been talking about his kids saying very negative things about his kid. She even accused Sugar Mama of not being his. But you're just listening at this man. Oh, by the way, y'all, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I just couldn't sleep. Hey. Y'all ain't seen my boy. Oh, is that Montel? Hey, Montel. Say hey to my live, Montel. Yeah, I'm on live, Montel. Oh, yeah, I'm on live, Montel. He said, what's up, what's up? Y'all my love, my tail. Don't play, goddammit. Don't play, don't play with me. Y'all look. Look what I got. I got my little niece up in there. Y'all my love, my niece. I get on my ass, but I love my niece, baby. I don't care what they say. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And there go my cousin.
guys and y'all don't know it. Everybody don't know it. We ain't playing with y'all over here. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna get ready to take my stuff to the car. But no, come on, take that to the car. Did you bring the uh, did you bring the can out? Did you bring the can out? Of course. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Y'all see the non bag. Y'all see Hey, 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 hey. Look, look, y'all. They got the two food together. <laughs> So y'all see, so y'all can see how Martel moves, right? He moves in ways where uh, he he want to make Mel feel uncomfortable. Then he get in front of the screen and act like he is a victim, you guys. He has no business. If that was me, someone talking about my kids like that, no, never. I could never, ever socialize with him. A laugh or talk with him. But I just want to show y'all how Martel moves. He moves around with all a melody ops. Yes, he do. And then don't understand why this woman don't want him to walk her to the car. Then try to understand that why this woman don't trust him. She don't trust him, y'all. He's not to be trusted. This woman right here, Peggy, all in his life. Y'all know Peggy run that, that page for Destiny fan page. She all in his live, y'all. Then uh, that's when he was sitting down there talking to um, Coleslaw. But anyway, Martel runs with all the enemies of, Mar uh, of Melody. That's why she don't trust him. So th this is Martel. Oh, yeah, shout out to Hey Girl, Hey. But this is Martel when he was laying in bed, talking to Arian, trying to disprove that he and Arian did not have any drama going on between them. So guess who, who talks to him now? Destined to meet destiny. That is Peggy, you guys. Let's keep going. That's she's right there. Destined to meet destiny. Right here, she's talking about I have some in my wine refrigerator. I have some in my wine refrigerator. She's talking to him. They are friends. Do y'all remember when she tried to block Sugar Mama products? Said that she was gonna turn her in, saying that it was a copyright issue. A little baby now. Here she go again, Miss Peggy. Now, oh, Miss Wanda, of course, he surrounds himself with all of this woman's enemies. Wow, they lost so much. They don't have anything else to do but lie on people. What's up, Martel? Keep your head up, son. Yes, that's part, period. So, so she's calling Martel her son right here. This is Wanda. Okay, destined to meet destiny again. Sue them. This is Peggy, you guys. This man, uh, here you go again. Destined to meet destiny. Destiny, yes. Destiny is on the show. This is Peggy on. And also, what Peggy does too, uh, he hangs out with Peggy. He is our, allegedly, he was the one who put Peggy up to try to block Sugar Mama products. Then when that didn't work, what did he do? He went to court to block her products and all those children, to keep those children from being on the air. 
Here you go. Destined to meet destiny. And I'm telling you something. There is something going on for this man and Miss Miss Peggy to attack. Melody, allegedly, you got Miss Peggy, then you got Arian, you got Wanda, you got, and of course, you know, you got Kenny, Loki, you got Tisha, you got all these people that he enlists, and don't forget Destiny to attack Mel. But what happened is, Mel continued on the sword, she continued on rise. Shout out to Queen Sheba. Is this the same lady? This is the cowgirl. She was at the Upscale Magazine event with Martel. Martel like to keep his women's hanging around, man. Yes. Uh, her. They say her name is Tiffany, you guys. But Tiffany, this is a picture of Tiffany, too. Oh, wow. She said something about, tell Martel and wanted to try again. This was 2021. Shout out to Melody Cherie, AKA Melody Hope fan page. Shout out to Miss Lynn, thank you. So anyway, uh, she has something already in common with uh, Martell. And they say she was under the, the VIP tent. You know the tent where all the cast members have to be. So, does that mean that she was Martell date for that night? And if so, where was Arian Curry? Why is Arian Curry in the hiding? I'm looking for a cowgirl. Looking for a cowgirl. So, I guess Arian decides she's going to try to weave her way out on love and love and hip hop Atlanta, you guys. Here she's hooked up with a little scrappy friend. Little scrappy gave her um a divorce party. It was open to the public. I don't know if Erin was already here or she drove all the way down there, her and her friend, just to go to that party thinking that, you know, maybe she could get picked up. Like Martel did, you know, Martel went to Atlanta. He was picked up on for the real housewife of Atlanta. So, you know, she says she, that girl, she got that star quality. She thinks she'll star. She thinks she's going to get picked up with uh, hip hop, uh, loving hip hop Atlanta. But let me tell you something. I can't even think of this boy's name right now. But you know, he's married to that attorney. And y'all know that's right down her alley. She loves married men. Yes, she do. Now, looking over here to her left is Martel. Martel seems to have great chemistry with this young lady. They say her name is Tiffany. Tiffany said, I got my own money, babe. I ain't got to be dependent on no man just to eat or be nice to no man just to eat Oh, wow. Is that shade? Is she throwing shade at Arian? But, you know, that's a good attitude to have. But he seemed to have a lot of chemistry with this girl. They were hugged up, walking away into the sunset, you know, hugged up. Hooked up. I don't even think that he knew that the camera was on him, but you could tell that he was enjoying being with her. We also saw her on the Upscale Magazine event with 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 him. She, they're not strangers to each other, you guys. She uh, kind of favored Belinda to me. That's who she favored. Yeah, she favored Melinda, right? So what's going on with Melinda? Suddenly, Melinda's out the picture. You guys know he always going to be try to be attached to a woman some kind of way. Because Martel said he want a woman to protect him and a woman that's going to provide for him. That's what he said. And Arian can't do that. Only thing Arian can do is be uh, his big winter, his big bug. That's the only thing he got for her. But anyway, you guys, you know what's circulating around is uh, in the news. It's about that the, the young lady who they picked up for exposing a tape of her ex. 
around. And that's the same similar scenario between Martell and Arian. Now, according to Carson Blue, uh, he said, don't put his name in. It's similar to that. Carson Blue, he was trying to check Carson Blue about that tape. But Carson Blue's husband wasn't having it. He just wasn't having it. You're not getting up in my in my woman's face like that. And, uh, you know, how you going to be mad at my woman and not your woman when she's the one that told her about it? And then something similar to, uh, he said, don't put no we or don't put no y'all on it, whatever. But anyway... Whatever the case, I take it to mean that you're all alone on this area. If something should come down, a male should decide to do something about it, you're going to be all alone. He's going to throw you under the bus. You might as well enjoy yourself out. But let me tell you something. You're never going to be on love and marriage, Huntsville. And everything is allegedly. So this Black History Spotlight is a little different. This is about getting back in touch with our ancestors' practices. You know, just before a woman had, had a baby, uh, it was traditional that we pampered the woman, make sure that her space was good for her before she has that baby. Make sure that we provided positive, a positive mental space for her. Anyway, so good to see that these girls are practicing um, a traditional ceremonies such as this is called the blessed way ceremony but my daughter desiree is with child but desiree wanted to celebrate she wanted to include her most trusted and celebrated women that she cherished in her life you guys being me as one of them, sisters, friends, family, co-workers, some of them are her students. She teaches, she teaches also. Those who would provide a loving space where she can explore the challenges and joys that lie before as she approaches her journey into motherhood. This would be her second baby. The first one is 16 years old. She had no idea what to expect, but she and her loved one experienced a sister circles like no other. Oh, wow. It was so beautiful, you guys. It was definitely a sister circle. And wow, you guys can go to my Facebook to finish looking at the, some of the rest of the event. Sisters just poured their heart out. It provided a space for sister to talk about those things that we deem that we tend to make normal that's not supposed to be normal, like abuse, you guys, like being in a bad relationship. But anyway, would you like to have a blessed way during pregnancy? How did I wish that that would have happened to me where I was pampered uh, just before the delivery? So anyway, the young lady with that white hat on is called your doula. And what she does, she is your earth side doula. She is there to support you all through your pregnancy. And, and some of the doulas do deliver babies, okay? But this is your Black History Spotlight. This is getting back in touch with your ancestor practices. And the next slide you will see would be just us doing foot washing. And while we are washing our feet with the traditional herbs, we are saying positive affirmation to her. Like, I love you. You're going to be okay. May God be with you while you're on your journey through your pregnancy or whatever comes to your mind that you want to say to the mother to prepare a space in her head so where it's, it's positive. Or she'll go into that birthing room knowing that she got support 
from her families as well as her sisters. And what really impressed me was her students that was there too. So teach one, her students was there besides doing production in the real house life of Atlanta. And on her off time, she teaches at a university here in Atlanta, Georgia. Stepping out the room, what they're doing is a foot washer now before she had a baby next week. And so what we're doing now is foot washing, giving the mother love, telling her how much she's loved, preparing her for that birth by giving her positive affirmation through foot washing, touching love, and giving her positive energy before that baby is delivered. You want to say something? Yeah. So I'm so happy to be here with all my family. And I want to be here with all of you. Speak up. Because every time I'm with my family, I always have fun and I have more love from you and Jesus. Okay, we got to go back to the ceremony. Money, get it full. Body on me. Ah. Turn around and get a full body on me. Okay. So, ah. this is. Wait. Did it go off? No, it didn't went off because is that going like. Okay, you know. Okay, this is Black Tide today. I'm actually here at my daughter's ceremony. We're giving her a positive affirmation. We're doing a foot wash right now. Okay, I gotta go back. Thank you. 